Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, well, I am super excited because you guys have been so excited and enthusiastic about the new Submit Your Truck series. So I'm really, really pumped about this. You guys have just continued to submit your trucks in a two minute or less video, and they're awesome. We're getting some really, really cool submissions. So if you wanna know how to submit your truck, just hit the video link down in the description. That'll tell you everything you need to know about how to submit your truck, but man, how cool is this? I'm having such a blast with this footage and we've got like 11 or 12 trucks in this particular video alone. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you guys love the second episode of Submit Your Truck. We got many more to come, but hope you guys enjoy this one. Hey UBT, here's my 1976 Cheyenne 30. Uh, bought this about nine months ago. Did a full detail on it. Uh, went back through, repainted all the black inserts on the trim, uh, dressed up the motor, regasketed everything, put a uh, two and a half inch stainless steel exhaust on it with Magnaflow mufflers. Um, tailgate's different color as it had a camper in it its whole life. The camper was shot, so when I purchased it, it was removed. Um, interior's in really good shape. Everything's original in it. Here's the motor. Regasketed everything. Painted up as much as I could. Tejas fan shroud with the LT1 fans. Dual batteries. Went through and made all the own battery cables. The original owner had written a lot of maintenance records up on the shroud and on certain parts. Hey everybody, this is my 1965 Ford F100. Got stock rear axle, the flip kit, 5 on 5.5, 20 inch Dodge steel wheels, aged side logo up front. Crown Vic swap suspension, 20 inch Dodge Nitro steel wheels, the five on four and a half. <clears throat> uh, LED lights from a Jeep Wrangler. So I got the fully functioning toolbox on the side there. Got an original spare seat or seat in the back, gonna get it reupholstered. For now, got a middle row seat. I have a Ford Expedition, got a low car shifter, eBay wood grain steering wheel. More work needed. Up front, got a 2004. 5.3 out of a Tahoe, eBay cold air intake, eBay headers, stock internals, custom engine cover, uh, BP ECU and wire harness, and 4L60E all out of the Tahoe. Runs great. Fun little ride. All right, my truck in two minutes. It's a 72 short bed, uh, all original. It's original short bed. All the steel on this truck is original, with the exception of the front bumper. Uh, it's just been repainted. The cab corners and rockers have been redone. Uh, the guy I bought it from uh, was a retired NASA engineer. He painted the truck. He built a, a paint booth in his garage. He painted it. Um, did all the body work on it. So I didn't do any of that. So I put suspension on it. It's got Ride Tech suspension, Willwood four wheel disc brakes, um, Magnaflow exhaust, Boyd tank. Uh, the bed, this actually, you can see there's stuff in it. It gets used as a truck. I actually just picked up mulch the other day for the yard. Uh, the bullet tank is under there. I'm gonna make a lid for that, so don't judge me on that. Uh, interior of the truck, more or less stock. The, uh, I put carpet in it, put this steering wheel in it. It's got VHX uh, di Dakota digital gauges, uh, retro sound radio, more or less stock. I just kinda wanted to keep it stock-ish looking with new modern components, so. It's a project coming up right uh, pretty quick here. Cruise control, hint, hint. Um, 
it's running right now. I don't know how much you can hear that. Uh, the fans just kicked on, so I apologize for that because it's a little warm here today. Uh, here's the motor. It's a built six liter. Well, built, I use that term loosely. It's a stock rotating assembly, new rings and bearings. It's got Texas speed uh, CNC heads. It's got Texas speed cam, uh, stock intake, uh, manifold, uh, four inch intake I made. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I feel like I'm kind of cheating here because I have my own YouTube channel, but Robbie, my buddy here, told me I should do a video. So uh, this is what I got. So if you want to see some more about the truck, come on over to the channel, check it out, Rusty Wrenches on YouTube. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just out for lunch today on, uh, on quarantine. Hey, my name is Randy Chapel. This is my 66 C10. Let me introduce you to old Tom. I picked this truck up in Tennessee from my uncle whose name was Tom, so that's where we come up with a name at. Uh, she was in pretty bad shape when I got it, but it was runnable, a little 283 in it, three on the tree. Uh, I was just going to put a cheap paint job on it and some wheels and drive it. But uh, as I kept going, I got too deep to stop there, so this is what we came up with. I actually talked to my family, do we want black or do we want red? Um, it was a consensus of no decision, so uh, I said, let's go, go in the middle. So I said, how about a burgundy? Well, I couldn't find a burgundy I like, but I did find this paint. It's a Toyota paint called Black Cherry Pearl. The wheels I put on this thing are a Riddler. They're uh, 18 inch wheels, um, eights fronts, tens in the rear. Uh, they turned out really well. The drop I got on this thing is a five and seven. I uh, did some research on it. This truck actually came with a 327, so I found one of those and built it. Uh, took the three, out, three speed out of it. I uh, found a four-speed Saginaw, so it now has a four-speed behind it. Running gear was a Donator rear end. Uh, it now has 308 gears in it. The bed um, took me four times to do this thing. I don't love it, but it is pretty. And a friend of mine, a preacher man, actually did the interior for me. Uh, everything else was um, done by me and my son. Thank you, United by Trucks, for doing this showcase on our trucks. I appreciate it. Love your videos. Hope to see all you other guys' videos. Have a good day and do be safe. This is my 1985 Dodge Ram Charger four-wheel drive. It has a 318 two-barrel engine smog era so it uh pretty weak pretty anemic the plans are to put a 360 in this thing sometime this spring something with a four barrel it's got a 727 low flight transmission probably get rebuilt at the same time we do the engine and then the plan is in the fall put about six inches of lift underneath it and 35s currently running on 33 inch BFGs. And as you can see, she's a pretty straight old truck, pretty decent shape. Doesn't look to have had a bunch of work done to it, looks to be just a survivor, fairly clean survivor. It's got 137,000 miles on the clock, but it looks like the 318 that's in it is not the original. And of course, since it's an 80s truck, the interior has to be red. Always red with the 80s trucks. It does have a locking front end. And we'll go ahead and crank it up here. Yeah. She does sound good, I think. It has no Go ahead and pop the hood here. There she is, 318. This truck did have air conditioning from the factory. Looks pretty good. Well, there she is, 
85 Ram Charger. Appreciate you letting me share. Hello YouTube and UBT. This is my 1962 Chevy Suburban known as Big Kahuna. I've been working on this for about six months. Got this from a buddy that was sitting out in his back property, just rusting away out in the woods. Brought it home, got started on the suspension. Did a CPP disc brake kit in the front. My buddy at New Millennium Rod and Custom did the air rod suspension on it. Uh, we modified the front torsion bar suspension, put slam specialty bags in the front, airlift bags in the back on the stock trail and arm setup. It has 15 by six wheel Ventique wheels in the front with 205 70s and 15 by eight, uh, 235 70s in the front. Inside, it has mid 90s Tahoe seats and center console, moon eye steering wheel, autometer gauges. Under the hood, freshen the motor up a little bit. Put a comp thumpers cam in it. All the blue paint is uh, Roth Metal Flake, like the 60s style uh, caddy air intake. Did the custom touches on the grill with the uh, knobs, painted the headlights blue. Found a 60s style roof rack to put the surfboard up there. Um, one of the custom touches, I think, which is pretty neat on it, is the custom hitch that we uh, mounted back behind the bumper and just notched the bumper in there. Club dragger, black top villains. Cool part about this truck is it actually started out life as a rescue vehicle or EMT. There was a uh, siren mounted, lights mounted, all inside all the doors. There's all reflective stickers. Future plans for this is a turbo LS and actually to get the suspension a little bit lower. So here you have my 1962 Suburban known as Big Kahuna. Hey guys, I figured I'd do a quick video on my truck here. It's a 1990 Chevy pickup uh, 350 SS. Bought it about six years ago. I've uh, spent a lot of money in it. I put a 4.8 in there, blew it up, put a 6.0 in there, blew it up. And now we have a Thompson Motorsports 388 with a dart block, uh, Pro Flow heads, 245s, 260 pound injectors with the Holly Dominator and twin. Um, S366 uh, turbos, which I would like to upgrade, but uh, we're going to run it like this because it's been down for about two years now and I'd like to get it going before it's completely covered under dust. I do have some Holly coils for it that need to be put on there. The transmission is a 4L80 that I built, but I am wanting to go to a power glide. So it needs to come out before it has even ran and uh, going to put a power glide in there see if it'll focus in here but it's completely got it it's a work in progress hopefully get it done here one of these days hopefully by the end of the year I can run it but uh, it's got a little rust but something that I can fix maybe later on I moved the radiator in the bed fuel cell in the bed and um, two 750 fuel pumps underneath there. So yeah, hope you guys uh, liked the video and thanks. It's my 86 C10, it's bad. Need us. It needs the seat recovered, but it's five three swapped GT forty five turbo.
Hello United by Trucks. This is my 1950 Chevy pickup on an S10 chassis, 6 liter, 4L65. Daily drive it all summer. Matching go-kart for my son. 18 by 10s in the rear, 18 by 8s up front. Body is mostly original. It's potato farm in Detroit. Here's another one. This is my wife's 1971 GMC. 6 liter, 4L80. Original body, original sheet metal. One repaint in the 70s. Interior is all original. This is my 1980 Chevy C10 Custom Deluxe. Uh, we named her Garth. Why? I don't know. It just felt right. She's uh, she's definitely crusty and rusty. It's just a good all-round truck. 250. Inline six with a three speed. Plans for this truck will be LS swapped, of course. Don't know if I'm going automatic or six speed. There it is, the little 250. She runs good, everything, all the wiring, hoses, everything. Nothing's tampered with, nothing's cut and spliced. Just the way it came from the factory. Except for that bumper. Of course, that'll be getting lowered. Probably, I don't, haven't decided on bags or coilovers. I want something like a pro touring stance because I like to like to get a good guys and maybe get in on the autocross a little bit. But besides the seat being torn, I mean, it's everything works on it like it should. Thanks for watching. Man, how cool was that? Just a plethora of trucks, all different makes, models, styles, tastes, and that's what Submit Your Truck is all about. It doesn't matter if you've got a new truck, an old truck, a slam truck, a stock truck, lifted, just whatever your taste is, we want to see it. We're into it. So definitely hit that video link down in the description so that you know how to submit your truck. It's really, really easy. But go check out that video to know how to submit your truck and keep sending them in. We're going to make this a regular occurrence. This is not something that's for a short time or just during the quarantine time. This is something we're going to keep going. So it'll probably take on a lot of different lives over the course of the year. But Keep submitting your videos, two minutes or less. We want to see them. Appreciate you guys tuning in to the second episode of Submit Your Truck. We'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.